Hello YouTube. Hiya. Right, I'm back. Uh, I spent a week in week a week a week in Barcelona, and uh, I'm glad to be back. To be honest, a uh, lovely place, but last week was just too damn warm, uh, and it's busy as hell. I mean, it's just crowds of people and the traffic, and uh, I kind of not that type of person in a way. Uh, I like my peace and quiet. And uh, you get a taxi over there and you're clutching onto the Bible and holding on for dear life. I mean, believe the hell, I mean, they don't have to sort of like get close to each other. But yeah, anyway, I came back and then yesterday I uh, went to the garage to go and pick up my work van, which they've had for a week. And uh, talk about leaving everything to the last minute. Uh, phoned up uh, just before I got back on Friday and they were still doing the work on it. But yeah, I got a nice bill of £1,294. Uh, what was up with it? I uh, basically drove 60 miles an hour and uh, it cut out on me. Uh, probably done that about five times since I've had it. I've had it about a year and I've been driving it, uh, not at speed because obviously it cuts out. So uh, you had to keep your revs under 3,000 revs or under 60 miles an hour. And uh, I thought it needs sorting. So yeah, got that sorted. Uh, two new injectors and a sensor. Uh, but just before I uh, booked it in, it started losing the uh, coolant, which I've uh, got some of that K-Seal. I don't know if anybody's uh, ever used that, but I've used it in previous vehicles, and it's uh, it's done the job. But on this occasion, it just won't work in, and it turned it out, turned it, turned out. I needed uh, a water pump. So, yeah, uh, now just need to earn the pennies back now. Uh, if you're wondering what I do, I do house removals, uh, full house removals, single item moves. Uh, I've been doing that for the last uh, eight years. Uh, I've got this on at the moment. Uh, basically, I've strained, uh, I mean, is it the tendons or something like that? But it's been bloody hurting me for the last uh, three or four weeks now. Uh, I mean, ideally, I need to rest up. I thought a week out of work might have. Uh, Right, I've done the trick, but to be honest, it's still hurting. And but it's one of them things where you still need to be earning money, and uh, you can't afford to be off. So, yeah, hopefully, I can keep, keep on plodding along. Uh, what I've done yesterday, I got myself some ladders finally, uh, which uh, in past have needed when I've needed to get on top of the van, uh, I've had to go alongside a cancel uh, bin. Climb on top of that, and then can climb on uh, to the top of the van to clean the solar panels. Uh, but also, I've had a bit of a issue with my uh, skylight. I've got two of them, one at the back. Uh, that had a leak once, I sorted that out. Uh, but then the kitchen one that developed a leak, and hopefully, fingers crossed. Now it's sorted. Uh, if I Funny enough, it's raining now. So if you gradually see me looking wetter and wetter, you know that ain't worked. Uh, other things I've done, I've uh, got some carpet tiles now, them square ones what you buy from uh, B&Q, just to put on floor. I mean, I've got lino down, but uh, it's been getting uh, cold uh, on the feet in the morning. And uh, just put these down and probably during the summer again, or springtime next year, I'll, I'll bring them back up again. But uh, it, it keeps your feet warm and it helps uh, keep it van warm. I've insulated the back doors now uh, and I need to do the ceiling still uh, which I'm trying to decide what I was going to clad it but I just can't be bothered to be honest I don't think we all that like so I've got some of that bubble insulation stuff at the moment I might just double up on that and uh, just see how I go with it really and uh, Got a, another gas bottle and I've got my Cala gas heater uh, which will be coming out of storage so I might be using that in the next few weeks. Uh, what else am I going to be doing? Need some plywood. I, uh, when I got this van I took out the bulk uh, bulkhead uh, but the one of the passenger seats folds down so you can climb into the front you know and get into the back which is quite handy but what I'm going to do is get some plywood and uh, so I do, you know, do the archway, uh, which uh, might help keep uh, keep it a bit warm because I've got some curtains here, which are them uh, blackout uh, insulation ones. So but yeah, that's something else what I need to be doing. But uh, as you can tell at the moment, uh, 
Well, probably. I, I mean, in, in the industrial area today, uh, Sundays tends to be very quiet, no one about, so it, it's ideal, to be honest. Uh, total peace. Uh, as I said before, where we have a couple of stops where we stay at the canal. Uh, ideally, I, uh, I I wouldn't mind being able to uh, find some land I can stay on, but I mean that's the thing. If you, you I don't know about anybody else, but I'm uh, I've joined them Facebook groups, uh, alternative living, etc., van life, etc., and I think everybody's uh, saying, "Oh, I'm after land," you know. I mean, I'd be quite happy to uh, either pay some rent to be able to stay on one, or do some work, etc., or maybe a place where uh, you. You know, your kind of eyes and ears, uh, a bit of security for them. Uh, I've had an ad going for a while. Uh, it just would be nice to not having to sometimes drive around uh, and find spaces. Uh, I mean, in cities, uh, I think it's probably uh, that bit harder. I mean, I don't do residential. I don't know about anybody else, but I don't like parking up in residential uh, areas because obviously you know you've got people passing all the time you've got your boy races you know uh, just just a noise uh, which I, I just like to cry and find the uh, the quiet places really so yeah I'm just keep on keeping my uh, ears and eyes out for uh, you know a place where you know I could stay on someone's land uh, around the Leeds area uh, did have someone getting in touch with me uh, once. Uh, he said he had uh, this land just outside, uh, well, just not the city, the city centre. And he started asking strange questions about uh, me and Mrs. And then the end he turned around and says, Are you swingers? They were like, Right, okay then. Yeah, yeah, blocked. Uh, I mean, there's some fruitcakes out there, isn't there? Really is, you know. Uh, like I said, he responded to this uh, this ad, and uh, yeah, uh, his, his questioning get, was getting stranger and stranger. And as you can tell, obviously, you know, he had uh, alternative motives. But it, it, what did he turn around? He said he had this land uh, just on the edge of the city centre, and I said, "What do you want?" He said, "No, f you know, nothing free." And I said, okay, think a bit strange. You know, what is it? Do you want some security? Uh, and he says, "Yeah." And then obviously, you know, I started asking other questions and then uh, asking us if we were swingers. Is that, uh, yep, yeah, not uh, well, yeah, uh, I think else really to say at the moment. Uh, like always, they're always short and sweet. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'll uh, catch you around. Bye bye.